a moving tribute to safety professions who lost their professionals who lost their lives during the COVID-19 pandemic. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates live in Sayreville. Tony. You know, law enforcement agencies from across the state made a beautiful procession here to Epic Church in Sayreville to memorialize some of the people that they lost uh, during COVID. It was just an incredible procession, uh, procession outside and we want to show it to you. So let's go to that video. Uh, hundreds of vehicles from all law enforcement agencies jumped at the opportunity to honor the 45 public safety officers who worked through the pandemic and tragically lost their lives to COVID uh, on the stage inside Epic church, which is where we are right now, which is why I'm trying to be so quiet. Uh, they have the pictures of the fallen comrades. Some of the families of those who were lost are here. They will lay wreaths in honor of their loved ones. Uh, we spoke to our top law enforcement bosses uh, about this memorial. State Police uh, Colonel Pat Callahan and Attorney General Matt Platkin. You know, in those early days of the pandemic, when almost all of us stayed home, uh, the women and men in blue, they went out, they kept us safe. New rules, new orders, didn't matter. They were there to keep us safe from truly a once in a lifetime event. And they did it, and for many of them, they did and paid the ultimate sacrifice. So this was a way to come together uh, and call it a proper tribute to give them the, the send off that they didn't get during the, the pandemic. So completely honored uh, to be here to pay respects to all those, uh, not only those uh, that we lost, but their families too, who are just as much a part of service and sacrifice as, as we all are. A proper tribute indeed. You can hear uh, the drum and fife behind me just beginning and the procession outside was just absolutely incredible. Uh, it took almost 45 minutes for all of the men and women in law enforcement to arrive here here at Epic Church uh, this morning. We will be here for the rest of the ceremony and hopefully we will get a chance to speak to some of those families who lost loved ones uh, in the line of duty.